Joe Biden dropped out. Fine, whatever. I don't care. You want to know who I'm concerned about? Harry Sisson. What is he going to do now that his entire personality cannot revolve around one man? Whether you care about politics or not, we can all agree people who are blindsided by their political party are annoying as fuck. Whether you are a red-blooded Trump supporter or a blue-blooded Epito supporter, each one is annoying. If I have to hear one more right-wing conspiracy, I might actually believe Biden's a, a skinwalker and that Goku might be real. I'm not saying having a strong political opinion is bad. I'm just saying when you're so deep in your political beliefs that you don't even accept the facts that are right in front of you, it's kind of bad. Hey, let's watch him. Off its well, hang on, hang on. Let's watch it since Harry, he wants to see, since Harry wants to see a clip from the church. Let's take a look at what happened in the church. Let us stand together. Oh, at the cross, at the cross, where I first saw the light. He has no idea what he's doing there, Harry. Harry Sisson is the biggest example of rage bait and delusion. I don't know how long I can handle seeing him smile and say all these terrible things to people who are just trying to state their opinion. If you actually want to be someone who only talks about politics, at least show a little respect for the opposite party and the people you debate with. You constantly interrupt when people are stating their statistics and show arrogance to people who know who you know you're losing to. And do you believe, Harry, finally, do you believe in your heart that Joe Biden is the right person to lead the Democrats into the election in November? And do you believe he can win? Uh, he can win. He's going to win. And as Vice President Harris said, we don't let a 90 minute performance negate three and a half years of progress. Biden's the only man who has beaten Donald Trump and he's going to do it again. And I'm looking forward to convicted felon Donald Trump facing justice. Why are you the only person I've heard in the last 24 hours who's not crying because the performance was so horrendous? On the Democrat side. I, I don't know. You have to talk to the people that you're surrounded by. Uh, I, no, no. You'll probably say something about how Republicans do the same thing. But you have a following. You aren't a regular person anymore. You are giving your opinion. You are a news source to many people. And spewing lies and misinformation is a bad thing. Not everything you say is a lie. Most of it's true. But when you tell the truth and you turn it into something hateful. Now I'm not any better than him. But I'm not claiming to be a news source. Harry just stating your beliefs and stop trying to drag other people down if you're trying to be a better person.